and welcome to the second <laughs> vlog on this Triumph Speed Triple. It's the first one of it being mine. For those who are new to the channel, I did ride this bike back about six months ago when my buddy Jeff brought it down. But uh, that was prior to uh, the exhaust and the tune and all that good stuff, so it definitely feels like a different bike. That's neutral. I've taken the bike around uh, some nearby neighborhoods just to uh, just get a feeling for the bike. That's what I like to do. Uh, that's what's recommended to do when you get a new bike. You don't want to just hop out on the streets first thing right off the bat with a bike that uh, you're not familiar, you're not 110% comfortable with. Every single bike is different. It doesn't matter if you're going from a 2006 R6 to a 2006 R6, <laughs> it's going to feel different. Controls are going to be different, they're going to be worn down different, clutches are going to feel different, they're going to engage in different places. Places. Uh, gearing is going to be different between different models and CCs and things like that. And that might not sound like a lot, and in reality, it's not. I mean, the clutch is still going to engage the clutch. The gear shift is going to, you know, change the gears. But some things might be in a different place. For me, for example, one thing I'm having to get back in the habit of is having both signals on one side. On the Harleys, they're, they're on two different sides, but on a sport bike or most other bikes other than Harleys, they're all going to be over on on one side that and uh, the brake the rear brake pedal I mentioned to this in uh, the first video I made is that it's it's too short I wish it stuck out a little bit further and I still have that feeling so I might be in the market for an aftermarket brake lever is that a pedal or a lever I don't know but yeah it's super short so far guys I am absolutely in love with this bike I mean I knew I would be because I've ridden it before and it's my dream bike I already have people ask me like what are you gonna do to it because I they know I'm I can't leave things alone and honestly I'm not gonna do much uh, the previous owner did a lot of work to it and uh, did all the major stuff uh, major stuff being the tune the new exhaust um, deleting the passenger pegs and then all the engine guard stuff which I'm glad that it was already had done to it because because uh, never even looked. Look, stupid ass. What was I saying before I raged? Oh yeah, the engine guard stuff. I'm very glad that that already had it done to it because that stuff is expensive, man. I was looking around some forums and I had no idea all the engine protection stuff was that much. Oh, this is a dead end, okay. But yeah, as far as mods go, I mean, there's really not much else that I either can do or want to do. Uh, I like the color for now. Uh, red is my favorite color besides black and white, so no immediate plans on painting it. If I was to paint it, it'd of course go white, uh, probably color match the other bike. No plans on doing that anytime soon. Uh, the only thing I really want to do is new grips and new mirrors and uh, possibly some LED headlights. Uh, I have seen that finding LEDs that fit these is a pain in the ass, but I'll do some digging around in the in the interwebs to see what I can find. But I uh, definitely want some bar end mirrors and uh, some more cushiony grips. The ones that are on it right now are, I mean, they're they're rubber, but they're they're very hard. I don't don't like them that much. Ah, this bike, dude. Ah. Team Bradley messaged me before I went and picked it up, and he said the first vlog you're gonna do, you're gonna have to put a counter up to say how many times you you love the bike. <laughs> So I'm trying to avoid being repetitive here, but man, if you've never ridden one of these, not even a speed travel, but just a torque heavy bike, you'll never, you'll never understand until you, you get on one. It's a completely different feeling. Just having just a mass amount of torque at your disposal is such an awesome feeling. I'm also rocking my old uh, sport bike jacket that I had when I had my CBR. Uh, I really like the look of it. It's a uh, speed and strength. I know it's kind of a, a lower end douchey brand. I don't know. Is it considered douchey? I don't know if it's so much douchey as it's just, it's so cheap. It's just easy to get your hands on that all of the, the douchey people get it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with that. But uh, I like the way it looks. White, black, has a bunch of vents and everything like that. It's just, uh, as you can tell, a little bit too short on the arms. So, uh, might be in the market for uh, another jacket pretty soon. If you didn't watch the last video I put up about when I picked up this bike, I did mention that uh, the Harley is not fixed, nor am I selling it. A lot of people were confused that I was I sold the Harley to get this, or I traded the Harley in to get this. No, that's not what happened at all. Uh, this is just a second bike. The Harley is not going anywhere. But the reason it's not fixed, I'm sorry, 
sorry if I'm, this is repetitive to people that did watch that video, but my editing computer went down last Sunday. So I had to use the money that I was going to put towards fixing the Harley to a new computer. That on top of the down payment for this bike, money is just kind of stretched a little thin right now. That's okay because now that we have a second bike, we can take our time on Mia. Nothing will be rushed and uh, you guys will get good God, man. This this throttle. Uh, if you're not in the right if you're not in the right gear and you let that clutch out, it's <laughs> <laughs> it just wants to go. But you guys can get content. Uh, I am going to try to start uploading more often than I usually do. I usually upload two to three videos a week. I want to bump that up just a little bit. I want to put myself on like a minimum three videos a week. I basically don't want a two day gap. I don't want there to be two days where there's no content. Or no, three days where there's no content. So a two day maximum gap. Basically what I'm going to try to do from recommendations of other YouTubers that have found success in this this niche market of ours is uh, uploading every other day increases your views uh, pretty much puts you in a much better spot as far as the YouTube algorithm goes so I'm gonna try to upload at least every other day it shouldn't be an issue considering I have almost an hour on the road or actually more than an hour like an hour and a half on the road each day and I can start riding to work now I should have plenty of riding time now to say if I have content to talk about that's a whole new thing but well guys I'm gonna go ahead and wrap Wrap this one up for today if you have any questions regarding the purchase of this bike or anything like that go ahead and leave them down in the comments below I haven't been as good about responding to every comment but that's mostly due to the fact of the the type of content with me posting up you know bike problems and stuff like that every internet mechanic and their mom comes out it's like oh it's got to be that and everybody's saying a different thing so I I don't respond to those uh, unless I have a follow-up question to what they're saying not saying that I'm unappreciative of people that are trying to help I don't want that to come off come off wrong or, or negative or anything like that but it just gets a little overwhelming sometimes if you're one of the many newbies to the channel I want to welcome you hopefully we'll get back on track now and uh, start pumping out videos anyways guys if you like this video go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't already go ahead and punch that subscribe button and as always thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time